Hi and welcome to On The Limit. Coming to you this week from a beautiful piece of the Japanese landscape, the lush foothills of Mount Fuji. But hey, this show ain't about pretty. The closest we get is pretty fast. Beautiful bodywork. Nice passing move. The sort of stuff you find in the Order Backs Japan GT Championship. It's one of those good news, bad news scenarios. In a seesawing first half to the Auto Backs Japan GT Championship, Toyota's taken two wins with its Supra. And Honda's taken the other two. The bad news for everyone else is that two of those victories went to the mobile Honda NSX, driven by Ralph Furman and Sugio Matsuda. Come qualifying, the Nissan hopes of doing well with its new skyline look to be well-founded, with Satoshi Motoyama and Michael Krum's Zanavi car proving fast. Just not quite fast enough, though, to stop Toyota claiming the front row of the grid, with Yuji Tashikawa putting the AU Surumo Supra on pole, and Seiji Ara qualifying second fastest in his Toyota. Takeshi Suchir is fourth in the Tokyo on Tom's Toyota, then come the two McLarens and the first of the Hondas, the Dakota car qualified seventh by Richard Lyons. In GT300, the very fast VMAC takes the honours in qualifying, Shinsuke Shibahara taking pole, three quarters of a second faster than everyone. There's a big crowd here today at Fuji Speedway, over 50,000 fans on a hot but overcast day for this two-hour race. And this is what they've come for, Hironori Takeuchi leading the 45-strong field away for the start of this fifth round of the Autobax Japan GT Champs. Seiji Ara slots into second in the blue and yellow Toyota, and Motoyama is there ducking and diving in the Nissan trying to take that second place away. But it's Takeshi Suchir in the Toyota out wide, trying to go around the outside of him, and he's got that place away from the Nissan driver. So out front, Takeuchi leads, Arrow in second. There you can see Motoyama has dropped back to fourth place in the Nissan, this heavily re-engineered GTR Skyline with its brand new V6 motor. Back down the track, this is the start of the GT300 race. There you can see the VMAX got a good start, but look at Aoki come diving underneath him into turn one. Tries to make it stick, but gets a bit loose in that first turn and has to give way so the VMAX will lead. Same thing up front, Takeuchi in the lead of the race outright, but Seiji Ara staying really close. A few gaps opening up here and a few battles further back in the field as well. And there, right back here in about 16th place, that's Ralph Furman, the man who's won two rounds, but qualified only 17th. Oh, trouble here for one of the Nissan Silvias. This is the privateer car of a Fumia Moto, and he's been into the barriers in a big way on this opening lap. Hironori Takeuchi coming down the front straight to take the restart. Looks like he's still got Seiji Ara hanging very close behind him. But quite a gap back now to the third place, Takeshi Suchia in the third of the Toyotas. So this is the reigning champion, Hironori Takeuchi, doing a great job at the start of this race. Knows that this could be critical in the outcome of the series. This is a track that really suits the Toyota Supras. Very, very long high-speed front straight here at Fuji and these fast sweeping corners. And look at how they're using it to get away from Satoshi Motoyama's Nissan. In GT300, Aoki's close behind Shinsuke Shibahara in the VMAC. 
and Kinoshita's next in the endless Porsche. Back at the front, the 28-year-old Arrows hanging tight, right behind the reigning champ, Takeuchi. Ah, Shibahara's edging clear of Aoki now, and the two Porsches, that is the endless Porsche, and that's Sushi Yogo's Porsche, just getting away a little bit from Yamano's Nissan. This is seventh place, Morio Nitta, the round one winner in his Toyota. Looking down the long front straight here at Fuji Speedway, it is Yamano under attack in that Nissan Silvia from Adeshi Matsuda in the black and white Porsche, and he's got him. So that pushes the points leader back to sixth. And here goes sixth place in GT500 as well. Kurosawa's got by his little brother Haruki in the number 30 McLaren. So Kurosawa in that number 37 Zent Supra taking over the place, leaving his brother behind and leaving a big fight right behind him as well with the number 18 Takata Domka. Oh, we've got troubles here for the number five Mosler. That's a GT300 car. Spins on turn one and gets stuck on the curbs. Here's how it happens. Tetsuji Tamanaka and the Mosler comes down on the inside, bumps guards with Osamu's Porsche, then gets just a little bit too hard on the gas. Now third place, Suchi is under attack well and truly from Motoyama. This is down into turn one, he fights him off. But look at Motoyama come on strong again, really putting the hammer down. Trying to get past this Tokyo Tom's Toyota that's holding third place at the moment. And now he pulls down the inside, going to the left-hander. Gets pretty loose under the braking there. Whoa! Very, very good racing between these two. And look out, because here comes Hattori and the McLaren down the inside as well. Oh, it's taking Sajir all his time to fight him off. And Motoyama has definitely got third place. But while one Nissan's doing well, this one's in the pits. The number 12 Kelsonic car has got a very smoky problem. Meantime, down the front straight, Motoyama is getting away a little bit from Suchia. Hattori trying to make up ground in that uh, yellow core McLaren as well. But look at Suchia really closing up at the end of the straight, diving down there very, very late under braking, and catches right up with Motoyama again. Oh, drama's behind them. This is Kurosawa's McLaren tipped out of the way by somebody. Here's how it happens. Jeremy DeFore's already got past the McLaren. Hiroki Kato comes down the inside. There's not enough room, and around he goes. Losing a lot of places right here as he nails it. Gets back into action. Lots of damage, though, on the rear bodywork of that car as Kurosawa gets back underway. Oh, and there's bad turns to worse because there goes part of that bodywork. Ah, Yamano's back past Matsuda. And Aida's now seventh ahead of the Lions and Kaneishi Hondas and DeFore's Denso Saad Toyota. Ah, someone else in trouble, and it looks like high school student Hayanari Shimoda, the 18 year old in the Ukyo Supra, has been into the barriers. That's going to bring out the safety car one more time. And with 18 of the 57 laps gone, we're just inside the window of opportunity for the one pit stop of the day. That starts a real rush on the pits behind leader Takeuchi. Both Nissans are in. As well as Takeuchi, of course, handing over to Tashikawa, but the number 22 Nissan has a very good stop. And Tashikawa only just getting underway now. And Wayne Gardner's got out ahead of him as well as Shinichi Yamaji in the FK Massimo car. So the big loser in all of this is that number one AU Surumo Supra now just getting underway behind these three. So drama in the pit stops this time, that's for sure. That could be critical in the outcome of this race. The VMAC getting underway too, but that's lost a lot of time in the pits. Aoki and Kinoshita haven't stopped yet, so they're now 1-2 in GT300. Likewise, Ida, Dufour and Kato, they're now 1-2 and 3 outright. Now these two leading GT300 cars come in. There's Aoki coming to hand over to Nobuyuki Oyagi. And double GT300 champ Hideo Fukuyama will take over the endless Porsche. The BMW stays out and so it leads the class. And now Ida and Dufour and Kato stop as well. One more restart to this race finds Aussie Wayne Gardner out front 
in that Tokyo Hong Tom's Toyota, but only just because he's really taking the pressure from Shinichi Yamaji, who dives down the inside in turn one, and looks like he's got the lead away from him. And Michael Crum and the Zana V Nissan trying to make it third place for Gardner. All in the space of a few seconds from the restart. There he goes down the inside. No, Crum thinks better of it. But I think Gardner's got a big fight on his hands. Fukuyama's Porsche is all over the Dacia Nissan for second in GT300. And it's the same thing for second outright. Crum harassing Gardner. Has a bit of a look down the inside, but thinks better of it. Hangs in behind, and look who's looming up behind them. That is Tashikawa in the number one AU Sarumo car, looking to get involved as well. But look out, Krum trying down the inside. Oh, the gap opens up, and he dives down there, gets very loose under the brakes. Right on the ragged edge he is, the German, but manages to get the pass done. And Tashikawa now right behind Gardner. These two won't be wanting to do anything silly. Both works, Toyota drivers will not want to take each other out, that's for sure. But look how close this fight is getting. Krom has also not got rid of them just yet. So the Nissan is ahead, but not by very much. Yamaji, though, is getting a bit of a break in the lead as here comes the fight again. Tashikawa diving down the inside. Gardner trying to hold him off. And Krum, of course, has to worry about both of them. They all hold their places for now. But you get the feeling between these three, something's got to give. And the guy who's indicating to pull left, that is Tashikawa. He doesn't do so just yet. And looming up behind him in turn now is the Zent Supra. Ah, Manabu Orido in the Toyota and Hidetoshi Mitsusada in the Honda are only fighting for 14th, but they're giving nothing away whatsoever. Orido looks like he's got the pass made, but look at Mitsusada come back around the outside of him. And GD300, the number three, Sylvia's now seventh in the VMAX 10. Just past the halfway mark in the race, and here comes the AU Surumo Supra. Flying down this mile-long front straight at Fuji, trying to get by Wayne Gardner for third. Has he done it? Well, he looks like he has hard on the brakes there, leaving black tyre marks on the track. And yes, he's gone through. So Gardner's taking a bit of a hiding here, was in uh, first place at the restart. Now back to fourth and has another car right behind him. Big GT300 fight here between the Matsuda and Nakagawa Porsches and the Kosi Toyota. Here's Yamaji first. Oh, and Tashikawa's got by Krum for second. What a charge this man's on, that's for sure. And Paolo Montin has passed Gardner for fourth as well in that Zent Supra. And look out behind Wayne Gardner because now Richard Lyons is the next one closing in. So two Japanese out front, then the German driver Krum, next is the Italian Montin, the Aussie Wayne Gardner, and now young Brit Richard Lyons getting into the act. Oh, here comes Tashikawa looming up large in the rear vision mirrors of Yamaji's Toyota. Just about catches right up to him, now runs down the inside through turn one. Is really putting the pressure on the young driver out front. Puts the indicator light on to say he's going left and does just that. Dives down the inside of Yamaji into the left-hander and takes the lead away. So after 30 laps, the first 19 led by his teammate, Tashikawa puts the number one car back out front. And now Krum is threatening Yamaji for second as well. This race has had a lot of ebbs and flows, and it looks like Krum's car, the Zanavi Nissan, is one of those coming on strong towards the second half. And GD300, the number three Nissan, has gone past Shinichi Takagi's 31 car for fifth, and the VMAX up to eighth. Things seem to have settled down now at the front. Tashikawa opening just a little bit of a gap on Yamaji, then it's Krum, then Montin, Gardner, and Lyons, still keeping close company. In GT300, Oyagi's Nissan is now second, and Hideo Fukuyama leads in the endless Porsche. Out front, Tashikawa still going away. Michael Krum slipping back a little bit, but the German no doubt enjoying this return to form after a poor first half of the season in last year's Nissan Skyline. Now with this new car, they're talking wins for the second half of the season, and this is a pretty good start.
Here's the VMAC that qualified so well, started so well, but lost a lot of time in the pit stop. It's now running seventh, and looking back down the straight for the leader, there he is, the dark blue Porsche of Fukuyama, holding down a good lead now in GD300. There's Yamaji in the FK Massimo car, and Montin's already got him, he's gone past for third. So Yamaji, like Gartner behind him, struggling a bit in the second half of the race. Further back, Masami Kagiyama's fighting Daisuke Ito for seventh. Here's the Nissan coming down the inside. That's Kagiyama. Oh, very loose there. Oh, and he's tagged him. Spins the Mugen Honda around, and that is going to be costly. He was in seventh. And who knows where he's going to end up now. You can see cars pouring past him as he tries to get it refired and rejoin this race. Now, at last, he gets a gap and does it. This is Wayne Gardner really taking the pressure now from Richard Lyons. And just behind them, look back, Joichi Wakasaka's trying to get by Kagiyama's Nissan as well. That's Wakasaka in the white and blue Supra, pulling out wide there. Just having a look around the outside of the Nissan, won't make a pass here. But any opportunity that presents itself, you can guarantee this man's looking for a way by. They won round three, did Ida and Wakasaka in this car. And down the front straight at Fuji, he tries to pull down the inside. Lots of speed there. That's a good test of the new Nissan V6 up against Toyota's very, very fast two-litre super engine. And looks like the super got it done. But Kagiyama not having any of that, tries to come back down the inside. And that is where, of course, he had the tangle with the Honda not too long ago. Now, though, he's had to give way, or has he? Looks like he's got other ideas still. Trying around the outside of the Supra, now down the inside. Gets very, very loose again, and he's lost it. Turns the Nissan around and into the gravel trap. Whoa, look at this. Wakasaka's caught Lions, and he goes by for sixth place. And he makes it stick. Well, yes, he does. Oh, big crash here. This is onto the front straight. Atsushi Katsumata's Porsche, plus the Toyotas of Satoru Goto and Takeshi Namikawa. All the drivers seem OK, but with cars littering the track, it's time for another safety car. And there's a penalty for number 23. That's Kageyama's Nissan. That, no doubt, is for turning around Daisuke Ito's Honda down at Turn 1 a while back. Here's the restart, and Tashikawa's now holding a big lead on second place Krum. Somewhere back in that pack, there he is, pulling out to the left. And back down the straight, Lions and Wakasaka are fighting again over sixth. And Lions goes ahead of that scrap. Now, though, the race is just about over, and Hironori Takeuchi looking a little worried there up on the pit wall, waiting for Tashikawa to come down and take the chequered flag. That's for the AU Surumo team's second win of the season. Takeuchi's pleased, as you can see. So is the team, of course. There's Krum in second place already finished, and behind him, Paolo Montin in third. The endless Porsche has already come across the finish line to take the GD300 win. Really, the AU Surumo team has been very dominant here at Fuji. Despite a troubled pit stop, comes back to take a clear win. Ayagi has come home second in the Dacian Silvia, and Yanagida's third in the other Nissan. Needless to say, the happy boys in the AU Surumo team. Takeuchi on the left and Tashikawa on the right give thanks to the Toyota fans here in the stands at Fuji Speedway. You make it look too easy. The car was in very good shape, so it was quite easy, much more than I expected. Yes. Because we won, now we have to put on some more weights, and that's going to be very difficult for us also, but I think we're getting very close now. Krum and Motoyama look happy. But Crum still seems a little disappointed. It's a shame, really. Uh, maybe there would have not been so many safety cars. Yeah. Could have come close in the end. Yeah. I think they were struggling as well, and uh, my car was getting quicker and quicker towards the end. So it's a shame about the uh, many safety cars. Okay, we are happy for the debut race for the yeah. Skylights. So.
So a great win here for Tashi Kawara and Takeuchi. They end up five seconds ahead of the rejuvenated Nissan effort led by Motoyama and Krum. Kurosawa and Monten take their second podium of the year, third. Then it's the Ara Yamaji and Gardner Suchia Toyota pairings, fourth and fifth. We were supposed to be going in a pit much earlier when the first uh, safety car came in. It was a uh, team manager's decision to hold, to hold the pit stop, and actually that worked out pretty well, in spite of all the like the drivers being, uh, both drivers being irritated. But it worked out very well, so I think that really um, made it good for us in the end. In GT300, the win follows up around one second place for Fukuyama and Kinoshita. Aoki and Oyagi are second, and the other Nissan of Yamano and Yanagida is third. Round one winners Nitta and Takagi are fourth, and round four winners Kobayashi and Tanegawa are fifth. In the GT500 driver standings, this win puts Takeuchi and Tashikawa back into the lead, 11 points clear of Furman and Matsuda, who gained no points today. Wakasaka and Ida are third ahead of Mitsusada and Ito. And in GT300, Yamano and Yanagida extend their lead on Toyota rivals Nitta and Takagi. Fukuyama and Kinoshita advance to a close third.